flies very fast. Yeah. We met for the first time in 1986. You and I. That's right. When I was mayor of Shanghai. That's right. It was on and a roof, out of doors. Near out of door, near the Huangpu River. Exactly. Mm. Exactly. And uh, I'm very happy to meet you again today. And I, you, and I thank you very much for granting us this interview. You studied the speeches of Thomas Jefferson and Abraham Lincoln as a youngster mm. when you were learning English. In fact, I was in middle school. And later, when I was a teacher in the night school in Shanghai, I also selected Lincoln's Gettysburg Address as part of my course. And maybe you want me to quote some lines from that speech. I do indeed. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceiving liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Why, why did you learn that by heart? I'm particularly interested in the phrase, all men are created equal. All men are created equal. Because this was a great influence on the students when I was in middle school. And I think what Abraham Lincoln described in his article still remains the goal of American leaders today. Especially the last paragraph, the government of the people, by the people, and the the people never perish from theirs. But Abraham Lincoln was elected by the people, uh, right? That's right. You are the last major dictatorship, the, the last major communist dictatorship in the world. You mean a um, dictatorship? Well, of course. A developmental dictatorship is what, <laughs> is what we believe it is. Am I wrong? Of course. This is a big mistake. Big mistake. Of course. Yes. This shows you don't know China that well. Oh, I don't know China that well. Yeah, I've been here yeah. half a dozen times. What means dictatorship? Dictatorship? When you do not have freedom of the press. Tonight's state dinner, many on Capitol Hill see China as an economic threat. What can you do to allay their fears? Uh,有一番一的关系,我先这个问题问胡主席,刚才我的同行提到关于人权的问题,胡主席还没有回答这个问题呢,是不是想回答的?那么还有一点,在国会里头,read参议员和众议员的议长,他们不准备参加今天
что тут совершенно непонятно, как делать так, чтобы отстоять и собственные интересы и не спалить свой дом под горячую руку. Ну, Трамп, мы же знаем, какой он переговорщик, да, потрясающий бизнесмен. Значит, он сперва разрывает существующий договор, потом перестает играть по этим правилам, затем начинаются вынужденные переговоры, и в конечном итоге он получает тот договор, ну, который выгоден ему. Но, во всяком случае, так было с нафтой, примерно так же было с Японией. Как будет с вами? Thank you. Maybe I do have some answer to this question in my... Mayo 萨格尔王江格尔等没有可以奉为金科绿玉的教科书也没有可以对中国人民衣食气质的教师爷逆全球化思潮正在发酵老人瞻仰子女教育等方面的操心